Okay, hi guys, I'm just going to show you how to make any video that you have that's HD um, or any video that's too big, like 5 jigs and up, uh, to make them so you can upload them to YouTube or you can put them on your iPhone using Final Cut Pro X. So, right now I already put my video here, so of course to import I'm just going to go through it really fast. Um, okay, when you want to import a clip here, you just right click and then import files or import from your camera. Look for the file, import it, then you drag it down and you edit your video, however you want. So, uh, when you're ready and you want to put it on YouTube, it, this didn't work for me. When you click on this, Okay, it tries to connect to your channel and it tries to load it up, but if it's too big, it just doesn't do it. It doesn't really compress it, although it should. Um, so far, it hasn't worked for me, so I'm not going to show you this way, but you could try it. Um, this way is the way that I found that it works, so Apple devices. Okay, then choose iPhone. Okay, so once this comes up, you can choose any one of these, but the iPhone one works just fine. It compresses your video, uh, makes it pretty small in size, but yet it's good quality. So then you just have to click on share. Okay, if you want to add to iTunes, you can do that or not. So in this case, I just want it for, for YouTube. So you just go next, then you save it on your desktop or wherever. You put, you click on save, and that's it. Uh, once you uploaded your video to, once you uploaded your video into iTunes, like I just did, it's gonna look like this. Okay, so it looks just fine. The sounds okay. Um, I'm just gonna make it big screen so you can see the quality of it. Okay, so see it's not so much pixelized, it's okay. Uh, I recommend doing it this way. So if you're gonna load up your videos to iTunes, to iTunes into your iPhone or into YouTube, like I did this time. The quality is good, it's not much pixels. Well you can see the pixels, but you know you can still read all the stuff, so it's okay. Even little stuff like this you can still read. Okay, so that's the best way to do it on Final Cut Pro S Pro X. Um, with Final Cut Pro 7, there's other ways of doing it, but this I think is the easiest way to do it on Final Cut Pro X.